Well, a family in Oakland is starting this new year in grief. Their loved one, a longtime postal worker, was stabbed to death while walking home after finishing her shift. A suspect has been arrested, but a motive is still unclear. Our crime reporter Henry Lee is here after talking with the woman's family. And Henry, uh, the lack of a motive here must only add to their pain. Yeah, Heather, they're just heartbroken and struggling to understand why anyone would attack a well-known member of the community whose sordid male helped tend a community garden and was a caretaker for her life partner. Three houses away, she was on my son. But she's not coming home. Miles Spruill is devastated. His mother, veteran postal worker Dilma Spruill, had just left work and was walking home in West Oakland when she was attacked on the street. Somebody came up, stabbed her multiple times. Spruill, who was 71 years old, died at the scene. Oakland police arrested a suspect, 28-year-old Wilbert Winchester, who has been charged with murder, a motive for the attack not yet known. Her son had this message for the alleged killer. I bid you peace and I bid you farewell. Uh, you took my best friend. We took the only last living birth parent that I have. It happened at about 12.30 early Wednesday morning. Spruill had finished her shift sorting mail at the post office on 7th Street. She's been a postal worker for almost two decades. She was walking home in the middle of the night, which she usually does with no problem. But she was stabbed near 8th and Henry Streets around the corner from her home. Um, what the people that was cleaning up the blood, it was right here. So if anything, she normally doesn't walk up and then across the street because that's kind of backtracking so she walks at an angle. It's tragic because this is something that she does all the time, walks home, doesn't bother anybody. Demo was sweet, the sweetest woman ever, like, like my second mom. Spruill and her son were caregivers for her longtime partner, Welton Jackson, who uses a wheelchair and undergoes dialysis. 27 years. 27 years. <laughs> I hope there's justice. I hope you find whatever you need to take for you to heal. Um, I'm not right. I won't ever be right. It's going to take me some time. The Postal Service tells me the victim beamed with energy, joy, and brought light to all who had the pleasure to know and work alongside her. Now, as far as the defendant, I have learned he's been charged with attempted murder as well for allegedly stabbing another woman two days before the postal worker was killed. Live in the newsroom, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Okay, so, uh, sorry, again, Henry, you're saying that the person that has been arrested for this stabbing was also involved in another stabbing? Yeah, we just learned that information moments ago, Heather. No motive for that case. I do know that this defendant, the suspect, has a conviction, at least, for elder abuse. So he may have a history of attacking women, possibly for no apparent reason. All right, something that you'll continue to look into for us. Henry, thank you.